Good morning and welcome. It is Saturday the 19th of March. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. Welcome to the Cheltenham Blues Day. So the day after the Cheltenham Festival where everybody is absolutely knackered, tired of having a bet. You could have been up, you could have been down, you could have been sideways. You don't know where you're at after Cheltenham. And what I've got for you today is a normal deck of bets. We've got three bets coming up, £20 stake. Uh, just, just, some of you are probably absolutely done in and don't want to know and would much rather I come on and go, I've got nothing for you. Um, but there's some really good value today um, and uh, and I found I found a few things I definitely, definitely want to have a go at. So I'm going to go through the bets um, shortly. We'll do our recap. We'll do a word on the golf. And just before I get into any of that, I just want to say... Um, there's a lot of you here now, a lot more of you here than there was this time last week. So some of you have been here a while and you know exactly where to go and sit in your comfy booth um, and, and chill out and just follow the process. Uh, for some of you, you you know, you, you've picked up over Cheltenham, you've seen what I'm about. To be super clear, this is a high risk strategy. What that means is we lose more days than we win. So Cheltenham, we were up three days, down one day. It looks great. We're nearly hitting some accumulators. The reality of what we do on a day in day out basis on this channel is we do lose more than we win but we win more profit we as in we make profit that's the aim so the channel is currently running at 20 percent profit since i started it um but if you take the last nine days fourth specifically the daily channel we have won on one day out of nine and i need to be so so clear with you guys this is not something for those casual people who've just popped in and gone Oh, cool, I'm going to lump on and win loads of money really, really quick. We're pay playing a long game here. And also, as I've said on some of my other videos this week, we want to have a bit of fun. So it's not about picking one horse for the day and me telling you what my nap is um, and not bamboozingly with some sort of points system. I know some people like the points system. And if we want a points system, then I'd be running at 10, 10 points up if you want the point system. I just think for a lot of people it overcomplicates it. I'm putting out the bets and I'm trying to make it a little bit interesting um, with what we're doing. And so am I going to try and maximise the profit? That's not what I'm trying to do on the channel. I'm trying to make profit on the channel, but I'm also trying to make it a little bit fun um, as well. Because for a lot of people it becomes not fun. And if you're not finding it fun, then it ain't for you and stop doing it because it should be fun. Yes, you've got days where it's down. But days like Thursday, when you almost win an excellent amount of money, they sometimes make it worthwhile. Right. Let's get into uh, yesterday's bets, because it was a really bad day, uh, more, more so on this channel than it even was on the Cheltenham series. So we had our worst Friday on the channel uh, yesterday. So it was £20 on, 184 back. Uh, put up 15 horses across the four bets and three placed, albeit nice prices, but three out of 15, that's a 20%. Normally on the channel, we're operating at a moment at 36% strike rate for win or place for our each way bets. So for a 20% day, that means it was a bad day. Um, so quickly spinning through, we had the first lucky 15, which we had on the Cheltenham video, first street placed, I really like that horse. Unfortunately, I couldn't put anything with it. So we got 84 pence back. We then had the Trixie. Um, we had Scarlet Dove place at 28 to 1. I said I was sweet on that, but I didn't put anything else with it in the accumulators. Did a great job on that. Um, we then put all the big prices together and none of them did anything. Uh, and then in the last one, we had Bardenstone Lad, which I was sweet on my anti-post videos, but got nothing with that. So we had a 20 to 1, 28 to 1 and 16 to 1 place, which is great. But when they're all in different bets, you don't get anything. On Thursday, we had two wins and a place in one bet and we got a great return. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Um, so yesterday was a not working day. However, despite the fact we've only won one in the last nine days, um, the day we did win this week is, is decent enough that we're coming into Saturday, so two days left of the week plus the golf, £13.50 ahead, which is... Uh, which is, sounds quite remarkable, really, which is about 15%. So if that's how the week ended, it's going to be amazing, to be honest, because in terms of percentage terms, I know it's not huge amounts of money to some people, but being ahead by one pence is better than losing. So um, we'll see how we go today. We've got normal staking days, as I said. Um, three bets, um, and I really like the bets. So you, regulars will know, when I say I really like the bets, 
That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to win, but I like them. Um, and I'm going to start off with something which might surprise a few people because there's some good each way races, but I've actually got a win lucky 15. We haven't done many of them. I had a whole little short list of about six, I think it was six horses on the wins. And I really had a, a debate about whether we did a lucky 31. And I just, for some of these prices, I just don't think there is value. You you end up halving the actual individual stake and doubling the amount of bets. And so you kind of need more to come off here. Whereas a lucky 15 like this, we get two winners, you make a profit. Three winners, decent profit. Four winners, you're very happy indeed. So spinning through, 130 Kempton, we've got Mellow Ben, 9 to 2, 205 Kempton, Rockstar Ron, Ronnie, 5 to 2, 233 Newcastle, Cracking Find, 7 to 2, 418 Newcastle, Rapid Raider, 13 to 2. So a lot of the twos. Um, and we've done a straight up 50 pence win, lucky 15. So that's 7.50 the bet. Um, so, yeah, I, I think there's quite a bit of value in all of those horses and putting them together. I felt like it was really, really worth a go. I don't often find um, that many win bets to put together to make a lucky 15. And I, as I said, I had a shortlist of six today and I've gone with what I think are the best four. Hopefully I've got that right. Um, so that is bet one. Um, bet two. Bet two. There are so much value in bet two. I don't want like to kind of go overboard with it because I don't want anyone to go silly and crazy but these are big big prices I've gone for here um, and individually there is great value in all of these putting them together there is a lot of value this this is this is up there arguably with anything I've put out this week for Cheltenham but I don't just I, I can't stress enough I, I need to be honest and tell you how I feel about the bet and what the value is but I don't want that to translate into higher stake the stake I'm doing is the stake I'm doing. It's always the same. Um, I say always the same. Today it's 25p each way rather than 20p each way on this one. But it's 11.50 your bet. So what we've got in the 2.40 flashing glance, sky bet are six, quite a few bookies are five, 22 to one. 3.44, we're going to go with a couple of the oldies here. Jepak, 25 to one. They're now paying four places sky bet. Uh, quite a few other bookies are 4.2. 327 um, Thurless, it's the only Irish horse. Five places on Skybet. Gold Creek, 50 to 1. And the 335 at Utox, so that's the Midlands Grand National. It's a big race of the day. Going Yalla Enki, another old boy, 18 to 1, and they're paying 7. And I've done it as a 25 pence each way, lucky 15, and 450p each way singles. These prices are very big. The most likely outcome here is we get four dots and we don't get anything, but there is so much value in the places for these. So any one of them could could win, but from a place point of view, there's a lot of value in this. What I would flag to you, because obviously I'm doing this through a Skybet account, um, this is the type of bet where Skybet would limit you to £100,000. Now clearly, you know, this would be amazing if we all, you know, they all won and we won, you know, won big money. But the point here is Sky Bet would restrict you. They restrict you because the, these bets are bets they don't really want to be taking because it it, 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 ha it gives them a massive, massive liability. So 100,000 is your restriction. So often on Sky Bet, you'll see that restriction actually is 250,000. For a bet like this is 100,000. If I give you an example, if you put this bet on with Paddy Power, where you would lose out a little bit is you would have uh, the 240 Kempton, it'd only be paying five places. The 327 at Thurles, I think, is only four with them. And the 335 at Utox is only six. So the four of them, you miss out a little bit on the on the each-way placings. But you would get best price guaranteed on all of these if you put it on with Paddy Power. And that probably is in itself, it outweighs the fact you've lost places. But the, the kicker with Paddy Power is they would not limit you on this bet. So if you put this bet on with Paddy Power, it's probably, you know, whereas it's a 100,000 restriction on Skybet, the actual bet if they all won is worth 550,000. I'm talking about fantasy numbers, folks, because clearly these aren't necessarily all going to win. And the massive prices suggest none of them are even going to get placed. But I want to give you the context of how actually, although I'm talking with, with using it for the channel through Skybet, possibly this bet is actually better with other bookmakers if you're getting best price guaranteed and you're only losing out on a couple of the places because your actual maximum win is not capped. Anyway, I think anyone on this channel would be happy with the 100,000, let alone the 500,000, so let's not worry about it. But that is bet two, and I, there's a lot of value in there. 
And then if bet one and bet two, our lucky 15s, have gone wrong and we've got nothing back, what are we going to do? We're going to cheer on a three at Wolverhampton. That's what we're going to do. Uh, drown our sorrows in a £2.25 p each way Trixie bet at Wolverhampton. <laughs> So we got one fifty-five, uh, four places on Skybet, Cop Cake fourteen to one, seven o'clock Wolverhampton, no extra places in that race, Broomy Law twenty-five to one, and then the eight o'clock Wolverhampton, four places, Mythical Madness um, eight to one, eight o'clock eight to one, twenty-five pence each way, Trixie. So that's a little two-pound bet um, if it all goes wrong. Clearly, this can go wrong. Um, my, my record on this channel was not brilliant at Wolverhampton. Um, it's not one of my tracks that I really like at all because you do get funny results. The, the quality of the racing's low and therefore that means you get inconsistent results. The higher quality the racing, the more consistent the results. So at Cheltenham, that's how it plays out. You do get a few horses who underperform, but generally the best horses are going to come out on top and you can read the form that way. Wolverhampton form reading is a lot harder to do and you have to look at a few different angles. That is bet three. Okay, those are the bets. Finish off, word on the golf. Uh, mixed bag, uh, really. So we, we had seven golfers this week and five have missed the cut, which is, I think, our worst record on the golf. Uh, that's It's really, really not great. However, that being said, uh, Henny Duplessis is still in there fighting away uh, in contention. So we've got two more days to cheer on Henny. It's like a deja vu from last weekend, except this time he's not leading. So let's hope maybe this is his tactic. He's going to sit back and then come storming through at the end. And then over in the Valspar Championship, Bill Haas had an absolute cracker yesterday um, and ended up five under par. So he was only three shots away from placing at a decent price. So there's a long way to go in that. But, but we've got Bill Haas, Henny Duplessis, who we're cheering on going in for the weekend. OK. That's what I've got. The last thing I'm going to say to you is um, Sunday, Monday doesn't look great for the horses. So it's very, very likely um, I will be doing half staking bets. So that's the point to take it easy. Today's a nice day. Have a, have a bet if you've got some if you've got some sparesies or you've made a bit of money from Cheltenham. It's worth a go today. Sunday, Monday might be the day to sit out, I would say. And I I'm think in the moment it looks half stake day, but I won't know till I really get there. OK, you enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy the blue sky if you've got blue sky like me. And I will see you in the morning. Thank you very much.